Today, I'm bringing you the details of a global affairs access to information investigation we did into Trudeau's in-flight menus. And there is so, so much luxury that today I'm only going to talk about the booze. A few months ago, using access to information, we asked for details of the food and booze on Trudeau's India trip and a couple of other trips that happened around the same time in early 2018. What we got back was 366 pages of menu edits and gourmet food adjustments. But there was just so much alcohol involved on these flights that I needed to make the booze a separate video of its own. So here we are. Let's get right into this. Now, some of the documents are a little out of order. So we're going to start on page 284. And there's a directive on board the government jets that they must carry vodka on every flight for Justin Trudeau, in addition to all the other booze on board. Sophie, that's Gautier, not Trudeau, was saying that we used to pack a small quantity of vodka for the prime minister, but she isn't sure if that is still necessary. Do you know about this? And the reply is, in doubt, I would put some on board. Okay, now let's go back to near the beginning of the document package, page 31. This is the amount of alcohol the bureaucrats were planning for Trudeau's trip to Davos. Six bottles of white wine, eight bottles of red, and 101 cans of beer. Now let's jump ahead to page 89. The bureaucrats are putting in the first liquor order for the Airbus for an ill-fated February 2018 excursion that ended in international embarrassment for us Canadians. Yes, friends, the trip to India. The bureaucrats ordered 12 bottles of Flat Rock Cellars Pinot Noir and 12 bottles of Laughing Stock Pinot Gris. Now we'll pick up on this trip in a minute, but first, page 108, for a VIP trip from Ottawa to Chicago, then San Francisco and Los Angeles, and then back to Ottawa, you can see there's a demand for beer to be added to the menus as a last minute request. Page 179 and then 180, things are getting a little out of control as if they weren't already. This is a wine and beer order for a Trudeau dinner on the Airbus on that embarrassing trip to India, February 13th, 2018. On this flight, Trudeau had a 40 person entourage. First, there are 12 cans of beer, Mad Tom IPA from Muskoka Brewery. Now let's get into the wine. Four bottles from a winery in Quebec, another six bottles from a winery in Ontario, another six bottles from Benjamin Bridge Winery in Nova Scotia, and that's just to start. And let me point out here for a second that the Benjamin Bridge Winery, after the fact, was the recipient of some corporate welfare from the Liberals to the tune of a half a million dollars. Let's pick right back up. For the second course, the entourage put away 12 bottles of Stratus Vineyards White from Niagara on the lake. And last but not least, and this is so perfect for the India trip, the wine served with the meat course on the Airbus for the Prime Minister's dinner in Delhi was that laughing stock Syrah 2013 from a vineyard in the Okanagan. The huge high flying entourage put away 16 bottles of the laughing stock. It's so perfect that jokes just write themselves. Usually that much booze makes me a better dancer. Trudeau, not so much. Now, by my count, there are 44 bottles of wine allotted for this 40 person dinner. Oh, and that one case of beer too. On page 80, in an email marked urgent, on the very same day that we watched the bureaucrats plan for 44 bottles of wine for just 40 people, the bureaucrats are now scrambling to order another 42 bottles of wine to go with yet another gourmet feast. On page 82, they're planning for a flight to Rome, and that's where those additional 42 bottles of wine are for. And as you can see, they needed another 42 bottles for the return flight from Rome to Ottawa. On page 87, just look at this email. We're going back to the India trip, again marked urgent. I've been asked by the mission in Mumbai to send three more cases of red wine, another 36 bottles. 
on page 186, February 14th, you can see the, the Department of National Defense people who are in charge of the Airbus are starting to get confused by all these liquor orders. To be clear, are the additional 36 bottles for the reception or a different event? Now let's jump ahead to page 359, February 15th. So this is still on the India trip. We have just sent the Airbus alcohol shipment with 36 boxes of liquor. And that's just the booze for the flight. You can see that evidenced in this line of this next email. Please note that we have labeled all of the Airbus alcohol for service using blue paper. This is to distinguish it from the reception alcohol, which has white labels and is already at the hangar. You know though, I've got to give it to the prime minister, even though I'm critical of his embarrassing costumes and performance on the India trip, a trip that was described by Bollywood stars as being more Bollywood than Bollywood. Based on the amount of taxpayer funded liquor Trudeau was soaked in on that trip, I'm surprised he could walk, let alone dance like an idiot. For the rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunnery. We look at Justin Trudeau through a critical lens that no one in the mainstream media really does. If you like what we do here at The Rebel, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.